Hey, what's going on, everybody? Isaac here. Want to talk to you today about fixed blade belt knives. What is a fixed blade belt knife? Well, a fixed blade is not a folding knife, so <laughs> it's not something um, the blade closes and you put in your pocket. It's a knife. It comes with a sheath that you attach to your belt. Or, you know, nowadays, you know, you can attach it all types of uh, Molly, you know, LBE chest rigs and all that or Molly backpacks. But a fixed blade knife with a sheath that typically will wear on your belt when you're in some sort of outdoor excursion like hiking, hunting, camping, even um, combat tactical situations, you know, you're you're in the military or law enforcement and you wish to carry fixed blade knife on your on your belt these knives are for all of you guys and if you just like to collect knives these are some top-notch knives that i'm going to show you now are they all the best knives of all time i can't say that because i don't own every knife so i can't show you every knife but Here's some good one. Let's get started with a banger here. This is the Ontario SP10 Raider Bowie. And I, I for, forgot if I mentioned my intro there. There's knives from budget up to higher end in this video. So this is on the budget end. But this is a fantastic blade. Uh, it's 1075 steel, uh, quarter inch thick there on the spine. At least it's like nine, nine and a half inch blade length. You cannot beat this buoy knife for the price point made in america it's a it's a tough high carbon steel and you can get a lot accomplished with this knife depending on if you want to carry this big thing on your belt the sheath you know it's simple it's nylon with a hard plastic insert there but it it works i've carried this on my belt to go uh you know camping and you know wandering around in the woods near my home and it is sufficient and functions as a sheath so ontario sp10 raider buoy uh let's stick on the more budget leaning here with the sog seal pup elite you know the sog seal pup has you know, it's been issued to Navy SEALs and tons of military personnel have carried the SOG SEAL PUP in the Global War on Terror. Uh, best part about this is the grip. Awesome finger grooves there that my hand just, you know, really locks into. It's a glass reinforced nylon handle. The Ontario buoy you saw before was rubber, so this is not rubber. It's a, it's a hard molded plastic. Um, with nice stippling around it there so you can get that secured in your hand. This is the Elite version. It has a rasp there on the spine can, you can use for, you know, some, some notching and carving tasks or creating tinder. If you're using this out in the woods, it's a great lightweight tactical knife. You can attach the sheath to Molly. It has this nice strap there. It fits very secure. I've carried this on hikes uh, attached to a backpack. And, of course, you can attach it to your belt as well. It's got a pouch in the front. Got a small sharpening stone in there to service this. It's Ossate steel, which is, you know, on, on the, the lower budget end of steels. But it's on the upper end of the lower budget end if that makes any sense and SOG does a great heat treat on this and it makes for a pretty tough blade from SOG um, so this seal pup elite this is the plain edge version um, seal pup comes with partial serrated only so if you want a plain edge you got to get the seal pup elite so pretty cool knife there uh, let's move up to a more high-end knife. This is the Shamanese, manufactured by LT Wright and sold by Nature Reliance School out of Kentucky. LT Wright is a very highly respected company um, specializing in like bushcraft outdoors type blades. Now this, uh, as I said, only sold through Nature Reliance School. 
It is the owner of the school, Craig Cottle's design, and it is greatly inspired by the frontiersmen and long hunters um, of the 18th century, guys who settled the land that we, that was the state of Kentucky now, um, when it was wilderness, it was the frontier. White people didn't live there. Indians didn't really even live there. It was only a hunting ground. And the Indians, the Shawnee tribe in particular, did not like that white settlers were coming into their hunting lands and building farms and homes. So a lot of these guys, they carried a, a long knife, as they called it. Shamanese is a term for long knives in the Shawnee language. So this was inspired by people like Daniel Boone and Simon Kenton and guys, you know, who ran around on the frontier hunting, trapping, fighting Indians. This is a do-it-all outdoor self-defense blade. It's a very cool uh, six and three-quarter inch blade length here of AEBL steel and a micarta handle. Great, great knife. Really like this a lot. All right, moving on. <clears throat> Let's go uh, kind of mid mid range cost here. Just under a hundred bucks, you can get a K bar. Man, been around since World War II. It's a knife of legend, and is still a great knife to this day. We got a seven inch blade of ten ninety five steel. Um, K bar knives get a not so great reputation today. For the sole purpose of that it's not a thick full tang it's this rat tail tang but if you're using your knife as a knife to cut stuff and not baton wood like you should be using an axe for the k-bar is a fantastic blade and you know if you, if you collect knives you should own a k-bar man uh they come in the, the the leather stack leather handle was the classic they come in in rubber handles as well that really give a nice grip but i figured i'd show the classic leather here in this best fixed blade knives video k-bar everybody you can do everything with this knife except use it as an axe which you shouldn't use any of these knives for anyway so uh, mid-range let's go back to fantastic budget blade right here guys this is the cold steel srk survival rescue knife it comes in this uh secure x sheet they call it it's a molded plastic and we got a six inch blade here of sk5 steel it's a high carbon steel uh similar to you know, it, it's like in between the, the 1075 of the Ontario and the 1095 of, of the K-Bar I just showed. Um, but this this is a really good knife. It's a, it's, the design is phenomenal. I love, this is a rubber grip. It feels awesome. Very secure. Can't really, sp gives you a great grip. You're not going to spin it around in your hand. Um, you know, they, they issue these to Navy SEALs BUDS training. Uh, so those guys in the water a lot. Now, I don't know why they would choose a high carbon steel blade in that salt water training out there in, you know, San Diego area. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> Maybe they, part of their training is to keep them dry and rust proof. I don't know. But the uh, six inch blade, um, decently thick spine there for some strength comes sharp oh, i love this uh the finger guard is is just enough and there's not a, a top guard that you know the the top quillion here and you can get your thumb up there for you know close cutting task or you know you can lock your thumb in there and put up here for for cutting this this really is a great design you can get these under 40 dollars on amazon right now so if you're on a budget and need a, a good solid knife, Cold Steel SRK, really, really tough to beat. I mean, somebody's got 40 bucks to spend on a knife. This all day. Okay, let's go back to uh, let's go back to uh, the highest end knife on the list. This is the Winkler Field Knife. It is 
a hair under six inches. It's a five and three quarter inch blade of 80 CR V2 steel. I uh, loved, just love the, the shape of this knife. I love the curved handle. Those type of handles just fit my hand really well. And, you know, no, no, like, uh, you know, jutting out quillion guards, just, just right here. So you can, you know, your hand is close up when you're doing your cutting, just, you know, be careful. <laughs> the way it's curved you know, helps, you know, your finger hopefully won't slip up all the way on the edge if you're, you know, doing some puncturing here, but you know, this, this is really a great knife. I love the size of the knife. It's not too big. It was the biggest knife that Winkler has made in recent years in their production line. Um, as of right now in 2023, they are not making these, but they are still available at some dealers. So this runs probably uh, 375 or so on price point. Uh, sheath is very unique as well. It's a leather lined kydex and the belt clip on this makes for an ultra secure carry. Uh, put your, you slip this down over your belt um, and it clips on here and there is a lip inside there. Uh, you can sort of see it here in the video that really locks this onto your belt. Um, you, you have to undo your belt and take this knife off to detach the sheath. So you're not going to lose that um, when you're out hiking or off to war or whatever. And it is a very secure fit in that sheath. So phenomenal, phenomenal knife. Uh, let's go to, a, I think it's a, it's the smallest knife here on the table, but this is the Buck Compadre. A really nice high carbon camp knife, outdoors knife from Buck. Who, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do another Buck knife right after this. But this one is, is newer in their lineup. It's been out for several years, but it's not uh, been around for half a century like many of the knives at the Buck Company. But this is a 5160 steel with a micarta handle 5160 super tough steel uh this is like a four and a half inch blade and you know the micarta is nice uh you got this small finger guard here it's just enough for you know, like camp tasks you can use this as a hunting knife i would not consider this one a tactical knife at all um you can th th these are readily available at, at knife dealers i think they're I think they're around 110 bucks nowadays, um, may, maybe a bit more, but uh, you should be able to get this knife if you like it. It's it's real good. It's it's a hollow grind like most every buck knife, um, but it's it's a tough steel. So I have batoned this through wood and it's done fine. Um, you know that that is a fine edge with the hollow grind. And full disclaimer, I did have some chips when I was going through some some very hard wood but they sharpened right out so buck compadre leather sheath carries carries very well on the belt really does guys can't go wrong with the buck compadre i said we'll do another buck next this is a mid-range knife this is the buck 119 special they've been making these for like the past 80 years it's a 420 HC, six inch clip point blade. Super fine tip there. It's one of the most popular hunting knives of all time. If you watch some videos on the Buck channel, you'll see that there's Vietnam vets who have said they took this knife to Vietnam. Maybe it's been in the war on terror as well. And if you watch Vietnam movie Apocalypse Now, you can see a Buck knife on Martin Sheen's hip. Maybe it's this one and the handle design it's it's a thick bulbous handle um unlike uh let's let's show the the winkler next to it big difference that the buck's like twice as thick so it really fills out your hand and there's some slight grooving here to give you you a nice grip now buck does have an 
upgraded materials model of this called the 119 Pro with a green micarta handle and S35 VN steel. So if these materials aren't jam, you can pay uh, more than double the price of this to get that Pro model. Um, these will be about 75 bucks now in 2023. Uh, and you can really get these anywhere. You can get this knife from Walmart and like Dick's Sporting Goods, Cabela's. So if you are going on an outdoor excursion and you forgot to bring a knife, you should be able to pick one of these up and it'll serve you well. It'll serve you well. It's not the greatest materials in the world and it's not a super tough knife. Um, this, this shouldn't be your you know, number one go-to survival knife, I don't think. Buck heat treats these for maximum edge retention, which means they are a hard steel and they hold a good edge, but that extra hardness for that edge retention makes them a bit brittle. Um, so don't do a lot of hard, hard tasks like, you know, wood chopping and processing. All right, we got another yeah, kind of higher end knife here. This is near the 200 150 to 215 dollars range is the sog pillar um unlike a lot of sog knives this one is made in the usa uh, we got five inch blade here uh with this choil uh, so you really got like a you know maybe four and a half inch four four and a half inch cutting edge but you got black micarta handles a nice extended tang here to do some some crushing work um, so you can use this knife for a variety of things. They market it as a tactical knife with the black handle. But guess what? The same knife with an orange handle, they market as a hunting knife. So it's good for, for a variety of tasks. I, I love the, the shape. Um, you know, that classic SOG buoy shape on the seal pup has that, that nice curve dip that gives it a good look and this one has some great jimping here it's in a it's in a perfect spot and i love that curved handle design um like on the winkler uh, this one has a nice finger choil here um and uh, juts out into this nice guard um so really great kydex sheath holds it well with a tech lock like attachment on the back that goes onto your belt Real full-size handle, knife comes in and out easily if you just uh, you use this as your thumb ramp. It even has uh, some jimping here to give your thumb some traction when pulling out the knife. And it's awesome that it's made in America, you know, S35 VN steel, one of the best knives SOG has ever made. All right, last knife. On the list here last but not least we started off with a buoy so let's finish with a buoy this is the case knives buoy really one of the nicest knives i own this this well let's let's snap that back up and just look this sheath is awesome beautiful leather with that nice uh, textured design on the front belt loop here it's not the the widest, but you know my my belt fits just fine. I guess it's an inch and a half, pretty pretty standard. But man, and that that cool shape, this the sheath is phenomenal. Um, metal snap here. It's got it says Case XX on it, Bradford, Pennsylvania. We'll pull that out. This you know it's a nine inch blade. We got a synthetic handle here. I imagine it's the same synthetic material that case uses on a lot of their traditional folding knives and brass guard this rear quillion really holds your hand in on the handle uh, not not a textured grip here at all it's very smooth um, but with the way the this rear quillion and and the quillion guard here is designed it really locks in your hand just hold on tight now the blade very sharp we got a pretty um low bevel grind here so a lot of meat behind that it's a 3 16th of an inch stock 
mirror polish. <laughs> yeah, you can see all the stuff, uh, my workbench here. Hey, look, there's me recording. Yeah, we got jokes here. But anyway, this knife is, is just great. Um, Case True Sharp stainless steel made in Bradford, Pennsylvania. Modeled after the V44 buoy that went out to the Pacific in World War II. Saw some action there, mostly as a brush cutting knife purpose. Probably bought some bad guys too. But anyways, guys, these are some of the best fixed blade knives that I own anyways. And definitely some real classics and well-respected knives in the market as a whole. And if you're in the market for a fixed blade knife, hopefully you found something good here today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.